Exercise prescriptions. They sound almost crazy, right? Imagine going to the doctor's office, and instead of walking away with a prescription for a medication, you're given a piece of paper that tells you you need to run on the treadmill for 30 minutes a day. While this isn't your typical prescription, the research does support their use, especially for conditions such as mild to moderate depression. When we think about treatments for depression, we typically think of antidepressants, since, as the name implies, they're meant to treat symptoms of depression. However, the safety and efficacy of these medications has been heavily debated, and many people believe that it is more related to the placebo effect than an actual therapeutic benefit. This idea about the power of the placebo effect for those taking antidepressants first made headlines in 2008 following a meta-analysis done by Dr. Erwin Krisch. The study found that the placebo effect accounted for 82% of the response to the medications being looked at at the time. Dr. Krish went on to explain that many people currently taking antidepressants simply do not meet the criteria for major depressive disorder, and that by continuing to take these medications, they are inducing a biological vulnerability, making them more likely to be depressed in the future. Antidepressants are psychoactive, meaning they're designed to induce behavior change. They're also accompanied by a myriad of side effects, including sexual dysfunction, weight changes, drug dependency, and perhaps more disturbingly, suicidal ideation. Now, that is a lot to take in, and my goal isn't to make you go home and empty out your medicine cabinets. However, when we consider that the safety and efficacy of these medications are being questioned, it is disturbing to find that Canada ranks third for antidepressant use worldwide, with nearly one in 10 Canadians currently taking an antidepressant. Now, Remember those exercise prescriptions I was talking about earlier? The research supports the use of exercise as a treatment for depression. Numerous studies have shown that exercise has a powerful antidepressant effect. While the underlying mechanism is still being debated, the research numbers simply do not lie. Exercise truly is medicine. And that is the primary aim of my research. I am looking at all the barriers with regards to prescribing exercise to treat depression. From the clinician side, what we're finding is that a lack of information, resources, and the ability to actually convince their patient that exercise is a form of medicine is a major barrier. From the patient side, what we're finding is that simply being depressed is a major barrier for adhering to exercise. By addressing these barriers and mapping out strategies, the goal is to increase exercise adherence and combat these barriers. Exercise is safe, cost-effective, and perhaps more importantly, a powerful intervention for depression. With global rates of depression impacting nearly 350 million people worldwide, it is essential we answer this question. Thank you.